home on a set. Everything's quiet here in the mansion. Fuck them up. How are you at Finale's, Varric? I'm expecting some practical experience fairly soon. Make it a good one, will you? For you, madam, endless sunsets and roses. Varric. And the swift hand of the law sweeping all aside. I thought it went unsaid. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire, which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. Inform the criers. A miracle has occurred. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her, but I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. She does like to add one and one and get eleven, doesn't she? Sometimes a hundred and eleven. I've heard rumors, whispers of a meeting tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. So I shouldn't slip my wrists and dance naked under the moonlight just to fit in? I would pay to see that. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not, or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. Someone's coming. The champion. We know your spine for Orsino. Run. We'll handle this.
search them. See if there's any further evidence of their plans. Another secret society meeting in a warehouse. Do you think the owners charge them rent? I told you he was after us. No, not him. I can't do this. I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping, not after what I went through. Didn't I save your life? You did, believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. I don't like where this is heading. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about, as a hostage. We just got word they pulled some girl from the Circle. A sister, I think. Just tell me where they went. I can't waste any time. They left for the ruins on the Wounded Coast. We have a kind of base there. They, they should have just talked to you. I know you're a reasonable person. You have to see how dangerous Meredith is. Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. I thought you'd be the last person to join a conspiracy of apostate mages. They aren't apostates. They want the Circle. They want it to work like it's supposed to to protect them. 
The mages aren't the problem. Meredith is. The Knight Commander needs to go. That's what Thrask says. Without her, we have a chance at peace. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? This isn't going to end well. If I were you, I'd stay out of range. Thank you. I'm really sorry you were the one. I'll go to Marsha, try to wait this out. I don't think I can serve the Templars while Meredith is still in charge. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Who are you again? Samson. I'm the one who fouled up your lad Fainriel's escape some years ago. Further back, I was a Templar. But that was before your time. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality... But back him into a corner, 
and they got options we don't. Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. You were the upstanding citizen begging coins to get your next flask of lyrium. It's a long time since anyone could get under my skin with that. I know what I am. So it shouldn't surprise you to see me here, right? One more blockhead move that's gonna keep me in the gutter. I just wanted to see Meredith out in her ass, like she did to me. Meredith does seem to have a serious case of the crazies, yes. But is she wrong? I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give him a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. Mages and Templars. Working together. I must be dreaming. Is it that simple? I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. I suppose it was too much to hope that he wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. Your cause is just. But I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The girl dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace? We saved you. What are you doing? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith? What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. I've been wondering when you'd come back to bite me in the ass. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. Try to do a blood mage a favor. This isn't right, Grace. The Champion tried to help us. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. the hostage. Kill the champion! You should have seen me before anyone I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold her. That's the only way I can bring her out. What happened? 
The last thing I remember is these Templars coming into my quarters. I thought you were better than this. A couple of lousy Templars and you're down. I never found fighting Templars to be a good policy in this town. Thank you. It's good to know you're still looking out for me. They're meeting in here, Sir Cullen. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a good man, sir. He tried to solve things peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, Champion? She should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. True. Samson, you have done us a great service. Do you wish to take up the shield once more? M more than anything, Knight Captain, sir. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The Knight Commander has dealt with the members of the plot you uncovered. But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you have of me? What is the Knight Commander doing about the conspirators? Did you not see them as you came in? The Knight Commander will ensure no one follows their example. Sorry to bother you. It's never a problem, champion. Look at this. My own sun shield and all the lyrium I can quaff. You've done me a good one. Thrask's dead. Grace is dead. And nothing's changed. They're not going to be the last ones who rebel. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. 
<sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. If Meredith stays in charge, she'll run Kirkwall into the ground. Speak softly, friend. There is nowhere safe to say those words. But be assured, you are not the only one thinking them. Definitely not. Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship. So good to see you, champion. Good to see you again, sir. Another message came while you were away. It's on your desk. Take a look at this. A blade of mercy. I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of a sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fumbling. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please, all of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same, or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. 
I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Saharan, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. I believe the Kunari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Kunari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Saharan, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinter would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end... poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. The blade is yours, if you want it. You think I wish to carry a symbol of Imperial honor? You must be joking. Keep your sword. Sell it, melt it down. I want nothing to do with its filthy magic. Champion, thank the Maker you've come. What's happened? First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric, but the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Wonderful. Take me to them. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that! You have no right! I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. The way you two carry on, people will talk. You came. This does not involve you, champion. I called him here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The Champion knows better than anyone how deep the Circle's corruption goes. I must find the Source. You both set quite the example for your people, you know that. What other option do we have? Tell me, Champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power.
They're not the only ones that lie and seek power. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so! I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant! This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this! The Grand Cleric cannot help you! Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminal, while those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I removed the chance of compromise. Because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the Circle is to be executed. Immediately! The Circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness! And I call on you to keep order. After what just occurred, you cannot deny what must be done. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Do you realize what you started here? I do. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you earlier. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall. The world needs to see. Elfina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now, or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You may have turned everyone against the mages now. Was anyone ever with us? It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. This won't be easy, but I'll defend you. But what of Anders? I knew I could count on you. Hawk, if you do this, I don't know if I can follow. After all the evil that magic has wrought, you would still support them. You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Ah, oh, shit. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Isabella? Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I can live with that. Thank the Maker. It is a mistake, but I won't abandon you. I see what you are trying to do, and my place is with you. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! So it's come to this. 
I don't know if we can win this war, champion, but... Thank you. I will leave your... friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. Did that spirit tell you to do this? No. When we merged, he ceased to be. We are one now. I can no more ignore the injustice of the Circle than he could. So it's up to you to decide how things should be. It's obvious how things shouldn't be. The people fear what we can do. But to use that fear to bludgeon us into submission is wrong. And they do it with our blessing. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. Opinions. If I'd been in that chantry today, would you be waffling? You know what must be done. Bold plan. Well, I thought so. He wants to die. Kill him and be done with it. Belief is no excuse. Sincerity does not justify this. He should come with us. Do what he can to put things right. I think I'm sick of mages and Templars. Whatever you do, just do it. You have to pay for what you've done. I know. The sooner I die, the sooner my name lives on to inspire generations. It will never be enough, but it's a start. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows, and quick. It's going to be quite a show. went to the gallows. We must find him. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you.
Lowtown serves its purpose. It's not always a pretty one, but it's there. Good or ill, this will all come to a head at the gallows. Forgive me for aiding these apostates, but the Knight Commander must be stopped. Are you loyal, Prince? Guard Captain? To Kirkwall. Are you loyal? You're set on a title in Starkhaven, but we're having a crisis here. This isn't just a Kirkwall concern. If this chaos spreads, Starkhaven will need a strong ruler to beat back the tide. I've seen greater men than you use that excuse. Noted and ignored, Captain.
assistance would be appreciated. Quickly! First Enchanter. Champion! You've survived, thank the Maker! We must... And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith. Before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. We can still prevent this, before you both tear Kirkwall apart. You heard her. She's wanted this all along. I'm disappointed in you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. My fellow mages, heed me. The Templars will come. For all our power, we cannot defeat such an army. There is only one option for us all. Survive. Do not submit. Do not fall on your knees before them. Get out of Kirkwall. Spread word to the other circles. They will not get away with this. Prepare your people, champion, and then speak with me. If we have any chance of surviving, it will be with your help. Done. It's hard to look at these apostates and not see Anders. 
Andraste says we're all children of the Maker, and deserve the freedom to walk by his side or throw ourselves to the void. Still, I can't imagine she would support this chaos. Oh, she'd probably be lighting fires and screaming freedom with the rest of them. <laughs> I always imagined her with a bit more dignity. But she was a strong defender of the oppressed. I don't know that we can win this, Hawk. Or even if we should. But I will not turn from you now. You've been a good friend. It will be my honor to fight at your side. Nervous, Hawk? My mother didn't raise any stupid children. I know how dangerous this fight will be. Well, that's comforting. It's the most dangerous thing we could ever do, but at least we know that. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I'm not sure we should be doing this. Helping dangerous people run amok. But I'm with you. Whatever I'm going into, it's good to have you along. It has been an honor, Hawk. What do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet Destiny? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or there's more to do, or... Does all this feel like a dream to you, too? In a moment, I'll look down and see I have no pants on. <laughs> the champion of Kirkwall going to battle naked. Why can't I ever have that dream? Hawk, before we go... I... Haven't I said you worry too much? We'll be fine. Come on. Why? Shouldn't you be halfway to Tevinter by now? Maker's breath. Take off with a priceless relic once, and you never hear the end of it. Your life would have been easier if you had just cut me out of it. But you stood by me. You defied the Canari, and fought their Arashok for me, even after I betrayed you. If you'd gone with them, I wouldn't have been able to yell at you. Oh. Well, I'm glad you wanted to yell at me so badly, then. I know I don't exactly inspire confidence, but I swear, I'm going to come through for you this time. When you look for me, I'll be fighting at your side. The Circle will never be the same. Not here, not anywhere. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. I'll take you to stranger places than this. Just watch. A tempting offer. I may not get the chance to say this again. Meeting you was the most important thing that ever happened to me, Hawk. Promise me you won't die. I can't bear the thought of living without you. I don't make that promise, unless you do. Nothing is going to keep me from you. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. With luck, well, let's just say we need some luck. Starting to doubt me? Never. Almost never. Let's keep the damage to a minimum, shall we? I've walked away from too many wastelands for one lifetime. With Carver. I never got the chance to say goodbye. I won't let that happen now. Brother, if we don't come back from this, never doubt that I love you. All these years, I've tried to understand what Andraste saw. Why she had to lock us up. But my powers come from the Maker. And I just cannot believe that is his will. Being in the Circle must have been hard. Do you ever wish you'd come on the expedition? 
If I had, who knows where I'd be now. I always thought it was hard growing up outside the circle, always on the run. I never realized how free I was. Maybe it took being locked in the gallows to understand my place in this world. To see the need to free my fellow mages. Of all we did, if you could change one thing, what would it be? I'd have thrown Carver on his stupid ass so he wouldn't attack that ogre. He was always such a show-off. Everything else? The Maker is wiser than we can be in a lifetime. Who am I to question his plan? I couldn't ask for a better sister. May the Maker bless you and keep you, brother. I wish Mother had lived long enough to see this. I hope she's found peace. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But, even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. Let the games begin. Very well. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. Meryl, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Fenris, I want you to stay close. Help out when you can. As you wish. Isabella, I want you to fight from stealth. Keep them confused. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Sebastian, I need you somewhere with a good vantage. Cover us while we move in. May the Maker favor us now. So, this is it. Some of you are worried. Maybe I am too, but I'm not staying long enough to find out. What I know is that I don't like being cornered, and I can fight harder scared than they can angry. We're getting out, and I'm buying when we do. Champion, it is beginning. as infants. Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? First Enchanter, we need to. I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. I hope you aren't giving up without taking a shot at Meredith. I am not giving up. I am giving in. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. Meredith expects blood magic? Then I will give it to her. Make her help us all.
We should move quickly. I can't believe even the Templars are turning against their own. Everything here is cold. Hard stone. I wish I'd worn shoes with soles now. I once knew a sailor like you. We lost him in a hurricane. Very sad. Maker, protect us all. Lead the way. It is unfortunate this place is necessary. Tell me, and it is done. Enchantment? Enchantment?
seems to be unhealthy. That should do it. I don't like the looks of this. All set! Done!
And here we are, champion. At long last. I imagine you've wanted to be rid of me for some time. I bear you no ill will. You've done this to yourself. You are no mage. But in supporting them, you've elected to share their fate. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. Andraste's dimpled butt cheeks. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartrand's mind in the end. He was weak, whereas I am not. All of you, I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down! I relieve you of your command. My own knight captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's lost it. Just like Bartrand. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter!
not enough that they make innocent suffer. No, Primus also has insults added to injury. Spare the mages, give them freedom, and they will use it to tear down everything we hold dear. I will not be defeated! Make her hate your humble spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. He had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the champion's side. Well, all of us except for Fenris. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. He is a hero. A man that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. He may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Though, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. 